everyone, it's Denise from Salvaged Inspirations and thanks so much for joining me today. I have a really exciting project. We always hear about furniture transfers being used on furniture, painted furniture, on wood, but we rarely hear about them being used on fabric and they work just as well and are just as easy to apply. So today I'm taking this dated Bombay Company footstool and this plain piece of drop cloth and turning it into this French cutie with just transfer and some black paint. This project is definitely for beginners and I love calling them build your confidence projects. But if you're an old pro, you're gonna like this idea as well. So let's get started. To start this project, what I did was remove the old upholstery. Uh, I just used, you can use a screwdriver if you have a staple remover, that's fine also. But the upholstery nails just be careful with because they can be sharp. Uh, but once you start pulling them up, they're very, very easy to pull up. Once I removed the old upholstery, which was actually an old pillowcase, my dad used it to recover the seat for my sister many, many, many years ago. So I actually had warm, fuzzy feelings while I was removing this. It brought back nice memories. But once it was removed, what I did was I used batting, quilting batting, uh, to recover it, just to give it a little more cushion. I found this old drop cloth material from an older project and I used that to recover the seat. And it was so easy. I just laid the seat on the fabric and I measured a good three, four inches all around. And then I just used my pneumatic upholstery staple gun and stapled the batting plus the fabric all around the project. And now for some fun. Today I'm using Redesign with Prima's Parisian Letter. It's this beautiful transfer, but I'm only gonna be using part of it. And the great thing about these transfers is you don't have to use the whole design. You can purchase one of these transfers and it can last for numerous projects. To apply furniture transfers to fabric, it's exactly the same as you would apply them to a wood piece of furniture. You're going to measure and decide where you want to place your, your transfer so it looks appealing on your project. Once you lay the transfer down, it cannot be picked back up. So make sure that you are laying it down correctly. This applies to fabric and wood. So what I did here was I calculated the center and I laid the transfer down smack dab in the middle where I wanted it. Once it was laid down, I rubbed it gently with my hands just to make sure all the letters were adhering or touching the fabric. And with my, and with my transfer stick, which is provided in the, tr in the transfer tube, I started rubbing. And it's just a matter of rubbing, rubbing, rubbing until you see that the plastic is starting to look milky and it's lifted off the actual transfer design. Uh, here you can see how there's a milky sort of uh, view of it and where the letters are nice and dark, it's actually still adhered and it needs more rubbing on. Uh, these, I, I wouldn't suggest using these for high, high traffic chairs. For instance, kitchen chairs that are gonna be, you're gonna be sitting on a ton. However, if it's a piece of furniture that is gently used, if it's a gently used piece of furniture, these transfers adhere so well that you won't have any problem.
colors are a great way to update any sort of plain, boring fabric. For the base, I painted this Bombay Company footstool with caviar, and that's Dixie Bell's caviar. It's a true, true black. It's just gorgeous. In, in the jar, it actually looks like it has a little bit of a blue hue. And when I first got my first, first jar, I thought, what? But it is a true black and it is gorgeous. And as you see, it applies effortlessly. Uh, I applied two coats, but I could have gotten away with one. Um, but it's, it's just a beautiful, beautiful paint and it lays very, very nicely. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and it's inspired you to try transfers on fabric. If so, please give it a like. Feel free to leave comments down below. I always love hearing from you. And feel free to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and be sure to visit me at salvagedinspirations.com where I have over 400 furniture painting tutorials. Uh, bye for now. I hope you have a lovely day and we'll see you again soon.